Sticky toffee pudding made the traditional way. The most important ingredient to get this pudding tasting like it should is dates. Soak the chopped dates in boiling water for about five minutes. Drain the dates and keep the liquid. Put all these ingredients into a food processor. And because I love it so much, I'm going to put a tiny bit extra in. Finally, add the liquid from the dates. This looks a mess at the moment, doesn't it? But it does turn into the most lovely, golden-looking batter. And it's just quite nice and smooth. You can see, still see the dates. So, one big sticky toffee ready to go in the oven. And this is at Gas Mark 4, 108 degrees centigrade. Now I'm going to do, uh, it's just a little idea of my own, really. It always rises more in the middle than it does on the outside. And because I want the surface to be flatter than this, to take the toffee topping, what I do is to just remove. I know it doesn't look very good, but it's going to be covered with the topping. It allows the sauce to cover without bits of the sponge sticking through, which would scorch under the grill. So, for the sticky toffee topping. First of all, double cream and molasses sugar. Lovely, lovely, dark, treacly sugar. You'll find it amongst all the other sugars in the supermarket. Slightly salted butter. Melt all the ingredients together and keep stirring until it quietly comes to the boil. All over in one go. and under the grill until it's bubbling and sticky. For even more of an indulgence, I make an extra butterscotch sauce to serve on the side. Cooks perk. So the lighter sauce, we pour a little round like that. 